Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another hair related video. It's going to be on this Air Sonic hair dryer. Now, I know I've been doing a lot of reviews on hair dryers or hair tools recently. This one right here, though, you guys, is definitely different, definitely unique. It just came in, so I wanted to kind of go over it, um, show you what comes in the box, give a little demo and my thoughts. But these dryers are great because, as you guys know, the, um, the Dysons are very popular, and what's great about them is they can dry your hair very fast, very quick like this one I'm about to get into, but they are super expensive, super pricey, and this one, as well as some of the other ones I've reviewed, they are a fraction of the price, which is great, so I definitely wanted to share this one with you, so we're going to get into that in a second, but anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below, and without further ado, if you guys would like to find out more about this AirSonic hair dryer, then just keep watching. This is the one that I wanted to share with you today. It is the Parwin Pro Beauty Air Sonic Hair Dryer. So that's what the box looks like. So basically, this is a high speed hair dryer. This is going to be a hair dryer that dries your hair significantly faster um, than a normal traditional hair dryer. You're going to have um, less damage and it's also going to be very lightweight. So I'm just trying to get the box open so I can kind of show you everything that comes in it and what it looks like. So upon opening the box, this is what the hair dryer looks like. Now, I don't have it plugged in yet. I will plug it in a little later in the video, but I just wanted to show you what the dryer looks like. Very sleek design, um, very simple to operate. We've got the buttons right there, which I'll get into in a little bit. It's very lightweight, not as heavy as a traditional hair um, dryer. Now, I have seen some of these high-speed uh, hair dryers, and I think I've reviewed some, that um, the nozzle is like a little bit longer. So I like this one because it's shorter, it's lightweight, it's sleek. So obviously this is going to come with attachments as well. I just wanted to show you the design and what this looked like. So this is the rounded brush that it comes with. Really nice that it does come with it. And I like that it's not like a really big one. This is a really good size, especially if you want to get kind of like your bang pieces. This is going to be a good size um, to use. So it does come with a nice gray rounded brush. I do have over here, we have the diffuser attachment right there. And I will say that these attachments, they go on literally like that. It's almost, it's like magnet pretty much. So it, go, it just snaps right on. So it's super easy to get off and put on. Um, so that's the diffuser attachment. And then we have the smoothing attachment right here. Now this is the attachment typically that I use when using these hair dryers. It just kind of makes the air more directed, more precise where you want it to go. So I do like this. This is the one that I typically use. And then let's see what else comes inside this box. So we've got the instructions, which I'll be referring to in a little bit. And then we have the glove right here that protects your hands. I know this is an acrylic iron, but still when you're using these hair dryers, they can get hot and you can burn your hands. I've done it before, so it's nice that they include these little like heat protectant gloves. And then what's really nice and that I like is they include a travel case. Even if you're just putting the hair dryer in it for travel purposes or if you want to just keep all your attachments in this, you can do so with this uh, um, little travel case right here. So I do like that they include that. So there are two airspeed settings, which is medium and fast. And then there are three heat settings or heat modes. The cool mode is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Then there's the care mode, which is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And then there is the dry mode or the hottest mode, which is 210 degrees Fahrenheit. And then this dryer also has a hyperspeed lawn life motor of 110,000 RPMs. And then it also has a built-in ion emission system. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference between this dryer and then other ones you've talked about in the past? What makes this one unique or different? And it's the back right here. This is actually a LED monitor or a screen. It's going to tell you what temperature you're on or what setting you're on, mode of the heat modes, and then if you're on the medium speed or the high speed. So everything is going to be on here, which is super helpful because there's been times where I'm using these and then I kind of have to keep going back and forth because I don't know which one I'm on it's going to tell you right here. So I really like that. I'm gonna turn it on. You're gonna notice it's not really that loud. My traditional hair dryer, not only is it heavier, um, 
holding it, it can hurt my arm and my hand after a while. This is lightweight, but it's also relatively quiet in terms of how loud my other one is. It's not that bad. I can talk over it. So we're going to turn this on. It's going to be on the um, medium air setting. And as you can see, I'm just going to try to zoom into it right here. It's at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is the middle temperature setting or the care mode. And then I'm going to go to 210 degrees Fahrenheit right here. This is the hottest it gets. And then we'll go back down to the 95, which is the cool mode. And you can see how it's switched and it says cool. And then if I want to go to the faster speed setting, I can. And you just saw that pop up. And then I'm turning it off. So it's really helpful and really cool that everything is shown on the screen. I don't have any hair dryers at all that have this on it, you guys. So that's what's really cool about this. I'm really excited about it. Um, it just makes it that much easier. Um, I actually used this last night. This just recently came in. I used it last night. It works phenomenal. Now, I've mentioned in the past, in particular, if you have any kind of semi-permanent hair extensions, typically, you can't just let them air dry. You have to dry them immediately. I know for the hand-tied hair extensions, which I don't have anymore, but I did, um, you have to dry those, especially the wefts, or they start to get like kind of wavy and wrinkly. And if I was to dry my whole head with a traditional hair dryer, I just don't even want to think about it. You can see me rolling my eyes because the extensions take so long to dry. Like they dry a lot slower than your traditional hair. But with these dryers, under 10 minutes, you can do your whole head. And I have really long hair, you guys. Um, so that's what's great about these high-speed hair dryers. They cut your dry time down significantly, significantly. Um, even if you have thick, thick hair, again, if you were to just dry it with a traditional dryer, this is going to cut your dry time down significantly. It also helps with frizz and also just helps, um, it's not as bad as if you were to just use a traditional hair dryer because of the ions and everything like that. Also, I need to get in a better uh, habit of using not the hottest mode. So that care mode that I showed you, the 160 degrees, that's where I am going to start drying my hair. Even at that, even though it's not the hottest temperature, it's still going to dry it very quickly. Now, um, I used this last night and I just couldn't even believe how quick it was. You guys, again, it was really quick um, if I was using my regular hair dryer. Just on my regular hair, I know I don't have, like I have extensions in now, but they're not the hand tied, so they're not the semi-permanent. But just on my regular hair, this, it just took literally no time. Like if you're getting ready, you're in a hurry, and you don't have like 20 minutes or a half hour to dry your hair, this is where it's at, you guys. So I definitely wanted to share this with you guys. It's a fraction of the price. And I don't even think the Dyson's, have this screen right here. I could be mistaken, but if they did, it'd probably be like over $500 at this point. These are a fraction of the price. They are, they work in my opinion, just as good as the high end, high speed hair dryers. And then we just have this kind of really nice little screen here that tells you exactly what's going on. So if you guys are interested in this Airsonic hair dryer, I will have a link down below. But anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you've used any of these high speed hair dryers. Are you thinking of potentially trying this one out? I'd be curious to find out. But anyways, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.